Okay folks, welcome back to MoGraphLots.com. Let's go ahead and get the ball rolling in this section by kind of fine tuning our animation and our motion and see what exactly we have. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the motion is finishing about frame, maybe 400. Let's go ahead to uh, about frame 400 so our timeline is just right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our motion and see what we have here. So I'm going to hit play and see where we need to adjust some of the stops. Okay, one of the parts that seriously need adjustment is, is this part. Uh, one of the very, very basic principles of any successful motion design is never let anything to stay still for one moment. Just try to have motion. Just try, uh, even if you, for example, we need to stay here to look at these small cubes building this main cube, but at the same time, you know, uh, staying this still and just having this kind of motion is really uh, going to be a, a very a serious problem for uh, someone who knows design, even for some very basic uh, people who watching your design. Uh, you have this very nice motion, very active scene, and suddenly here everything stops. That's not very cool. Now let's go ahead and adjust this problem and uh, add some motion to the whole thing. If you take a look at this master 01, we have this basic change here and you can see from uh, frame 156 to frame 157 here is absolutely still. And if you take a look at the keyframes here uh, and go to the next keyframe, you can see there is absolutely no change in the rotation or position value. So let's go ahead and uh, see what exactly we're going to be doing. I'm going to get to frame 175 and if you take a look at the direction of the motion we're coming from so this way. Uh, okay so uh, in order to make it nice we can go ahead and continue the same motion but with much more slower rate so let's go ahead and do that. Okay folks uh, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. So if you take a look at the uh, numbers here we are changing uh, and you see from 108 on heading uh, we are going to something like okay so let's go ahead and uh, there we go here's the motion let me just zoom in a bit here so we can kind of focus on our here that's where we want to change from 176 to 175 so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just select this and kind of move it this way a bit. Not too much really. And if you take a look at this master controller, something like this. And if you take a look at the design right now, let's hit play. Ah, uh, you see this uh, kind of forward and backward motion. When we added this, let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. That's the problem here. Now we added some uh, kind of movement, but the problem is uh, we have this kind of forward and backward awkward motion and we need to solve it. So let's go ahead and uh, open the curve for this uh, rotation heading. So let's go to the F curve and see what's going on at frame uh, between 156 and 172. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit here. So that's the problem. You see here, uh, here is we are on our rotation uh, heading and it comes down and here is the uh, where we want to uh, kind of add that extra motion and as you can see we have this uh, problem here you see this bump let's go ahead and solve this uh, I'm going to kind of select this thing and kind of move it a bit to maybe something like that and kind of change this handle length a bit to make it a bit shorter so let's see what we are going to have this time. So I'm going to hit play. Okay, that's exactly what I want. So if I take a look here, take a look how nicer, how much more live the action is. You see there? It's not staying still like, even though just that few degrees, I think we changed this uh, 10, 12 degrees, but just that uh, quick and small change adds a lot to your design. Okay, perfect. So let's hit play. Perfect. So it's not going to stay still. It's moving. You see? There we go. Very nice. Even though it's a small movement, but it's moving, which is perfect. So great. 
and these kind of small movements prepare the uh, viewer to kind of be prepared that there is another big motion that's uh, gonna come so let's hit play boom perfect so let's go ahead and take a look okay we still have this problem here you see boom it's staying kind of still and it's not that quick here so let's go ahead and select the master controller here and we're going through and here is kind of staying still and that's not very cool so let's see okay so frame 176 so let's see what we need to change here to add a bit more extra motion at one maybe about 201 202 maybe something like this just to have that bit of extra motion so he's play okay that's where we have emotion so I kinda wanted to make this thing about maybe frame 217 and if I hit play this time okay that's better but we still need to change some of these guys so let's go ahead and um, get back here and open up this one to frame 217 from uh, 190 to uh, 217 so let's go ahead and open up our F curve and see what's going on exactly so I have it opened here uh, there we go so 190 and if you take a look here at the motion and at the curves you see here here's the problem kind of so let's go ahead and see what we can do here if I take a look at this guy's curve so let's just move it maybe upward a bit and that's gonna help us hopefully so let's hit play okay perfect much more better so if I hit play again it's not gonna stay still and that's exactly what we want great so hit play always there is a motion and perfect great guys so I seriously advise you that you go through uh, all of your keyframes and do that and I just wanted to show you how would you do that and you go through you change the motions you make sure there is no a steel moment in your uh, whole motion design and I did it for just two uh, parts uh, and we have this uh, extra and detailed camera motion that really helps look at this this uh, from here it's all, all camera motion you can see from here it's just we get this very nice camera motion that I added in my uh, previous project and I know we didn't talk about the camera animation at all uh, that's because uh, first of all we have uh, in our previous courses at mographplus.com uh, we have been talking about camera animation quite extensively uh, for most of our projects we have been talking about for uh, a, a complete section just animating the cameras and we've been talking so extensively about the moving the cameras animating the cameras have to manage the uh, multiple camera scenes and all of those data that I really find it to be uh, kind of uh, really I didn't uh, think there is any need to uh, going through and talk about the camera animation at all but uh, for this specific project I'm gonna just go ahead and talk about the camera animation in the next lesson just very uh, brief talk just to give you a hint if you have uh, no idea where to start your camera uh, motion and animation and combining the camera motion and this nice motion uh, we are basically uh, overlaying layers and layers and layers of motion uh, you know we have the camera motion we have this master controller rotation and movement we have this uh, cube coming and going we have these small cubes and those uh, fractures that we had those uh, kind of side fractures that we had and all of these layers of motion to make uh, a kind of simple design sort of to be looking kind of complex and uh, the viewer thinks oh, oh my god that is so great 
but really, uh, this is the one of uh, very important principle of motion design is this layering of motion. You add and add and add motion over motion over motion, and that really make a very complex and nice uh, design finally. So there we go. Here is about the fine tuning, and I just, as I said, I, I didn't go through uh, every keyframe, and I didn't fine tune every keyframe because it do take forever, really. But I uh, seriously suggest that you go through and uh, work on your uh, keyframes, uh, on your motion, see uh, where it has problems, where you need to adjust them, and really, this is uh, our job, and we need to be very good at it. And uh, you go there, you look at it, even though it's really boring this part, but you have to do it, and you make sure that your animation is nice and you have some nice uh, motion there uh, so there we go and uh, in the next lesson we're going to be uh, taking a look at a camera motion really really briefly i'm just going to give you some ideas on how to your uh, kind of work your with your uh, camera motion and then we can go ahead and actually start adding those letters and start adding the camera the uh, uh, materials and preparing our scene for final render and so see you there